Well, hello, Shirley Rocks. It is time to play The Last Starship. This has just hit early access, and this is actually from the developer of the famous uh, Prison Architect, so it's by Intro Version Software. And in this game, we get to send our little crew to space and build fantastic spaceships, and then everyone dies and I rage quit. So let's get right into it. We're going to do a new game, and I'm going to show you all about it. So... Here we go, so I can choose some different starting ships. So I think it's going to be noob to, to lead. It, if I start off on that, we're going to be in trouble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off on the newbie newbie level, so with Praxis. So this is a small science vessel, and this has all the necessary equipment to get us up and running. It's going to have engines, it's going to have reactors, it's going to have an FTL, and yeah, you'll see all of that now. So let's jump right in. So begin game. Here we go. Right. So first of all, just got, it's got your standard controls, so you can pause with space. One, two, switches your speeds. Oh, five and six. Okay. Now, that was my crew that just arrived then. Let me just turn this down a little bit. So, let's talk about the interface. So, we've got our money over here. We've got our number of crew here. You can see my Motley crew over here. Now, the cool thing about this is, at the moment, these have all got spacesuits on. Wait a minute. Is that meant to be... Oh. Oh, it's not pause, pause, it's slow. Oh, I'd rather pause. I don't think you can, maybe you can't pause. So these have all got a spacesuit on because there's no oxygen. This is all the stuff to build the ship up and this is all the stuff we need to do. So as you can see here, all the stuff's labeled what we need. So uh, first of all, I need to put a reactor down. So we go into construction. This gives you a little clue where to place stuff, look. So a reactor connects to a fuel loader and a fuel pipe. So we'll go to construction, install, and we'll install a reactor. This burns fuel to produce power. So let's plonk that down. Now if I put this on normal speed now, you'll see someone come and grab the reactor. Okay, and then they're gonna install it. Now we also need to install a fuel loader which I think, the f I think the fuel loader, this takes a canister of fuel and pumps it into an underfloor pipe and then we connect that to the reactor. So we'll connect that. Now we need to connect a pipe from there to there. I'm gonna wait for this to get built first. Now these things have inputs. So at the moment that won't do anything because it's not got an input. So I need to go to pipes and the color codes are the inputs. So yellow is fuel and the uh, reddish one is actually, I think that's power. So I need to do a pump from here to here. Now, yeah, I can follow along the little diagram here. So it tells me to go there, then there, and then there. Now that should be connected. So he's gonna plonk a fuel barrel on this. And hopefully we'll see it getting filled up over here now. So let's unpause it. There we go. Fuel is go gauge is going up. And you can see we're now outputting five megawatts of power. Okay. Next bit. Right, so we now we now need to install some engines. So we've got two engines. Uh, these do forward thrust. Must be supplied with a fuel a fuel pipe. So I'm assuming it doesn't say where to put them on this, so I'm assuming I can put these either. Maybe there, because I don't know what the requirements are to place this. Because I can put it there. I could put one there. Annoyingly, I can't... Oh, I can put it there. Let's see if I can put them here. <laughs> and have the engines, because I, I think most people are probably going to put it there and there. That would be the most optimal place. Right, so that's queued up. Now, we also need to do life support. So, life support's quite interesting. So, in order to do life support, we need a uh, air duct, and that pumps oxygen into the surrounding area. Now, we can look in here, 
and see the O2 level. So O2 at the moment is 3.000, which does not sound good. So we'll get an air duct. Now it doesn't tell you where to put this, so I like to put it up here because it's out of the way. Now the air duct needs to be connected to um, oxygen loader and medium tanks. So an oxygen loader is like the fuel loader. It takes oxygen and pumps it into an underfloor pipe and use the pipes to connect to the air duct. So I reckon I could probably put... Do you reckon I could stick that right next to this? We'll see. And then we've got the oxygen tanks that can store liquid and gas. I'm going to try and store these all together in a little line to try and save a little bit of space for later on. Okay, let's unpause it. So these are going to get busy building. There you go. We are building it. Now that needs power now. So what we can do is we can pause it again. We can go to cables. So we need uh, electricity. So that's cables. So power comes from here, reactor, and we need to go to the engines and to this bit. So let's go to this bit first. So we'll go yoink. Yoink. You can see it's filling up with power now. Now, if I come out of this, you should start seeing this all getting a little bit busy. So we've got FTL charge there, we've got fuel there, we've got oxygen over here. Now these need to be connected, don't forget. So this has got the canister on this but it's got nowhere to go so we need to do pipes and connect all this up so we'll just go a pipe from there to there we'll go a pipe from there to there and then we'll connect up the medium tank like so come out of that now and we should start seeing the oxygen levels stabilizing they're actually going down rather than up which I'm assuming is good because so, if you go into construction you can see these are... I think they're getting... Are they getting built or are they getting full? Okay. What is that number trying to tell me? 2%, 3%. So it must be... It must be. Maybe that's how much oxygen we're short of in the uh, thing. So how much does a canister contain? A thousand. Interesting. And what were we on? 3,000 before? So if we go back to construction now, so it's still filling up. Okay, um, oh, engines. Yeah, we need to connect these bad boys up. So let's get the engines connected up to the, uh, the grid. Let's do a pipe like that, or a cable, and we'll connect it up, connect it up. Pipes as well. Pipes need to go in here, so pipe there. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, if you, if you do this like I, I did, you can, right, you can right click and delete it. We need pipes here. So there you go. Get these pipes all connected. Perfect. Okay. Fuel's going in. And you should start seeing it all charging up now. Okay, I think that's pretty much... I think that's pretty much it. Have we done everything? Done that, done that. Oh, we need to test the engine. So you can navigate the tactical screen. I do not understand how this works fully yet. So this is my ship. This is the area we're in. So we've got a star base near us and there's me. So you can like click on the map like this, or the area. And then you can come back out of this and you can see we are gonna navigate that order. So if you wanted to like investigate that, say for instance, I'd come into tactical, I'd say approach that, I'd click on that. And as you can see, we are gonna make a course to go near it. Okay. Next thing we need to do is we need to test our FTL. So this took me a while to work out how to do. So what you do is you go to the uh, map, which is sector map here. Now, this is the whole area where we are. So you can see where we are here. This is fleet and we need to go here, destination. So yeah, left click on it. So it's highlighted, come back into this. Click on FTL. Oh, that's a problem. We've done our, our little list of installing things and uh, someone's forgot to install the FTL. So look, we're, we've not got that actually built. So we'll go to install again. And FTL is the last thing we need to install. Now, as we know this needs power, I'm gonna try and stick it on the power line here to see if we can save connecting it. 
So there you go, FTL is being installed now. Ah, nice, and it's on the matrix. So that is charging up. Now if you go to FTL. Ooh, that sounds like that's ready to go. Okay, so we can prepare the jump. So we're gonna align in space. And we're getting ready to jump. Okay. I think we're ready to go. So here we go, let's go, my first ever jump. FTL, in case you don't know, is faster than light. It's a way of traveling across space super, super fast. As you can see, we've done it all. That's all the stuff done. We're in a new sector now. So we've got, what have we got here? We've got Starbase, we've got some trade ships. We've got some evacuation ships. Now it's interesting you can't see in these. You can only see the outside. So you can see that's got like reactors. It's got some fighters. So this is going to be baller later on, the amount of stuff you can do. Okay, so you click on that now. So that's the contract I've just done. Now I've got all these new contracts. So this is where it starts getting super complicated and I'm going to make an absolute hash of this. So an earlier job I've managed to do, well, I've partially done is this one. So apparently there's an anomaly and uh, we need to examine what it is. So I'm gonna accept that one. Now this is cool, watch this ship come in now. So this ship comes in to deliver me parts. And I'm not saying that's like Star Trek or V, but yeah, it is. Uh, so we're gonna dock with that and get the stuff off it. So here we go, we've got a nice little space dock there. And I've got some new techers now. I have, where is it? Where's my new tech? Oh, uh, if you notice that we've all got, we've all took our suits off as well now, look, we're all just walking around. Right, so we need to install sensors. It doesn't show you where the sensors are though, which is a bit disappointing. Right, so let's install these new sensors. Hyperspace sensors, these, inst these install on the side of the ship, so I'm just gonna put them, put them here. Okay, and then we'll unpause it. These will go and install these. Oh, they were there by the docks. I couldn't see it because of the door. Okay. And now we need to connect these up to electricity again. So we'll go to cables and we'll go yoink. And then connect them up. Okay, we've got an incoming hail. Let's answer it. So we've designed a custom sensor package. It'll give us information we need. These sensors will collect data from the anomaly while you're in hyperspace. The closer you can hyper jump, the faster they'll collect data. We can send you research funding as you collect data. Capture 10 data and we'll send you your first funding grant. Right, so we need to collect, I think it's 10 data. I think it's 10. So that's one mission. And then there's all these other missions. So we've got special missions. Some of our scientists don't believe the void collapse can ever be stopped. Um, I think we're gonna evacuate people from those. This is a nomad one. I think this is about surviving solo. Uh, then we've got another one, which if you don't do science missions, you could do one like that. Destroy all hostile forces. I've got some passenger transport missions, but I need three cabins now. It does say up there the amount of cabins. I've only got, I've got five people, enough space for 32, so we can't do that one. Okay, another one we can't do that one. And that one, what is this one? A group of 24 civilians. They want to be dropped off at star system one. Okay, we'll accept that. This should send the people to me, then we have to go to star base one. So here they come. So here comes a load of noobs. Here we go, look. Noobs, noobs. <laughs> They're everywhere. So we've got to transport these people. Now, the interesting thing is we've got this FTL, which this only has a certain amount of charges. So it's going to be interesting to see how, how much this lasts. Now, we're here at the moment. They want to be delivered here. So I'm going to click on that. Come out of that. Go to FTL. Prepare the jump. Let's get rid of these noobs before they start eating me food. Okay, we are charging. 
that just sounds like it's opening the portal to another realm, doesn't it? Come on, it's char. I think it's charging. Let's 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 do it on normal speed. Okay, it's definitely charging now. We're aligning. Okay, ah, uh, uh, that that that's that's big big space station. Uh, um. I'm jumping. That, how, did, how did we hit that? Ooh, what's that? Power cut. Um, what's going on here? It's likely the fuel supply has been interrupted. Consider using storage tanks to create a permanent storage of fuel. Oh, should that be from these then? But that's got oxygen in it though. Oh, maybe I can't use that just yet then. Maybe I can get tanks later on. Um... I think somebody needs to refuel all this. Okay, we're charging up again, I think. Okay, power's going back on. Okay, are we at the thing? Oh. Right, oh, oh deliver. Oh, we need to click deliver. I guess we must be there then. Okay, turn in contract. Deliver. Well, we've obviously not delivered them because it's... Did we, did we get there? Oh, no, no, it's working, look, it's working. They are going. Right, how do I, how do I cancel uh, an FTL? No destination, and we're charging it. There you go, we've handed the mission in. Be gone. Right, we've transported all the people. They've gone off to a better place. What do we get? 73,000? Whoa, that's some good money. Right. What about the, um, the scanning mission? How are we doing with that? We've captured zero data. I think that's because we, we mucked up the, the warp. Okay, let's, can we do anything with these then, the star bases? Because these are here. Can we, can we buy stuff? Orders, doors, overlays. So there's, not, there's not an option to buy stuff, right? Ooh, there's all this though, right? What does this say? Suits on, repair hold, gather materials. Um, can we... I think we have to find somewhere to gather materials. Anyway, let's go... We'll, we'll have a little look at... Is there any other contracts we can do? Okay, you want 60, 69%. Ooh. I'm gonna do this. I want. I want the money. Let's see where he wants to go. Right, he wants to go there. Let's hopefully not run out of fuel this time. I mean, that to me looks like that's got fuel in it though. It says oxygen though. No, I think I think we need to go with what we got. Anyway, let's prepare the jump. We're going back the way we came. GG. Okay, we're about to uh, go where mankind is not. Oh, they have been before. We were there a minute ago. Right, jump. Right, hopefully, there you go. We're getting the data now. Ooh, we've got seven data. Nice. Right, let's get rid of these noobs. So, let's deliver these. Hopefully, our ship's going to come and get them. How far away does it, did he come, I wonder? So, I can't see any ships coming. Um, deliver. Oh, we have to click that bit, don't we? It looks like I can click on all the things. These are all out of power again, look. Alright, come on. Be gone, noobs. This, this ship must be multi-layered, mustn't it? They must be below deck. Must be. Okay. Oh, look at that money going up. Look at me, me, me food and water's going down though. I don't know, I don't know how, I don't know how we replace it. Right, let's get, let's get 10 data. So, let's see. Um, we've, we've done that one. I, we've got to capture more of that. Uh, what's this one? Hmm, they want to go to star, star system eight. Where is that? That would be perfect, because we've got to go past the anomaly to that 
So we will accept that. So it's uh, this one. Let's get the noobs on board. Here they come. They come quite a far away, away though, don't they? So the, the, the long-term premise of this game with combat and building your ships up sounds pretty exciting, though. Oh, it's not. It's, um... Oh, delivery bot. Crates... What? How do I do that? Crate storage zones. I don't know how to do that. Editor, maybe? Okay, so this is my science vessel. Right, how do I do zones? Um, I cannot see any zones in there. Trade. Oh, so you can trade. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's, I don't want to trade the stuff. I want to buy stuff. That's obviously not that. How do I, how do I edit my ship though? Storage. I'm assuming we need to create storage zones. So what's a storage zone? Um, is it not a general, a general storage air area? Maybe, maybe. Habitation deck. See, I've not set this ship up, so I don't have a clue how to do storage zones, which you would think it would tell you how to do. It's not under install, because we've not got anything. Oh, storage. Let's do any equipment and just say... Any equipment in that zone. Will that work? Let's see if that works. Come out. We need to come out of that mode, I think. Um, delivery blocks create storage zones. I obviously need to get more cargo. I don't know. I mean, why is that all stored over there, though? Hmm. Is it any cargo, any equipment? What's the difference? See, that's, that's cargo. Oh, wait a minute. Where are they? <laughs> Why are they taking all the cargo there? Right, so I can do cargo there. And equipment there. I don't know if that'll even work. Well, they're sort of moving some stuff. Okay, so that's cargo and that's equipment. Probably my zone for equipment is far too uh, big. That. Let's get rid of that there. Make this bigger for cargo. All right, come on. Hurry up. There we go. Okay, we finally figured out how to do it. Oh, that was painful. Right, so we're going to deliver that there. So let's go to FTL. Let's prepare the jump. Leave you moving all of that. Uh, let's jump. Hopefully we're going to get at least three. Yes, we've managed to get ten data. And we are at another station. All right, so we should be able to get rid of these now. So we'll click on that, click deliver. And then somebody's going to come and grab this. Here we go. The ship. Ooh, we've got incoming hail. Research Institute. Let's see what these ones. Are they going to come on and get this, or do I have to take this all off myself? Nope, I have to take it off. Okay, we've received your sensor data. Fascinating. It looks like the anomaly is expanding and the rate of expansion is increasing. We've just paid you a science grant of 10,000. Capture 100 data to unlock more funding. The closer you fly, the faster it will collect data. Yeah, that's, that also sounds very dangerous. Okay, so we're going to get rid of all this stuff. Let's go as fast as we can. Ten times. There we go. Okay, contract completed. Weapons platform eventually. Ooh, look at that. We leveled up even more. So it's not told me how I do trading properly yet. So if we go to trade. So say I want to get food. Um, resources, would it be? 
Okay, so I can get a stack of a hundred. Oh, left button um, is buy, so I could go. I want to buy two stacks of food. A uh, stack of a thousand. I think I've got. I've got no water on board. Let's get some water then. Probably something we need quite a bit of. Oh, uh, looks like we can get guns and stuff. FTL charges. Yeah, we're going to need plenty of that. What about fuel? How much fuel have I got? I've got two. Let's go about five of them. I've already spent 52,000. Got like things at ingots and that. I, re I reckon we'll be able to trade stuff like that. Uh, let's do confirm. I want to see how this gets delivered. There you go. Oh, look. Low fuel is alerting us. Luckily, I have that. We are all re refueled and ready for more. Anyway, I'm going to save that. New save. Gonna call it first because that is like real. I can't spell first as that's really original. Create new save and go. And that's it for now. So, yeah, let me know what you think of that. This is the uh, last starship. If you want to see more of this, want to see maybe a bit of pew pew, then let me know and we can have a little go at doing some combat as well as just delivering people like a glorified taxi service. Anyway, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. This is the last starship. I'm Shirley Rocks. Hopefully we will not get abandoned in space.